Hello. It's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. This week cannot end soon enough. I'm gonna retire the Muskies uh, shirt after tonight. This is the last game where the Timberwolves will be in the throwbacks. Against the Celtics. Should be a lot of Kevin Garnett fans. What it really is are bandwagoners who love wearing Celtics stuff. Almost as bad as Lakers fans when it comes to that in this building. We shall see. Also, Vanilla Ice Halftime. Can't miss it. It's the end of the month. It's March 30th. It's 5.17 p.m. and current temperature is 51 degrees. As promised, a soda thing. It's Pepsi Next. This is uh, Pepsi's, if you remember C2, that's what this is basically, where they take half the sugar out and replace it with a combination of uh, aspartame and sucralose. Did I pronounce those incorrectly? I don't care. But you can see now, thanks to the handy-dandy labeling laws, only 60 calories in this can, whereas a throwback Pepsi, why would you want high fructose corn syrup? when you can have sugar, will run you 150 calories. And in fact, this is a high fructose corn syrup to represent the sugar in this one. But I have never tried it. I'm going to try it now. I do like Pepsi. I like Coke as well. I don't drink a lot of regular soda anymore, though, except I have a stash of Heritage throwback. I've got some Pepsi. I've got some Dr. Pepper with sugar. Air quotes. Cheers. Let's try it. Well, tastes like a Pepsi. And I'm not really tasting any aftertaste, so that's pretty, that's not bad. If I were to drink sugar sodas, I might consider it. 15 grams of sugar versus 41 grams in Pepsi. So if you're trying to cut back on sugar, God knows I need to cut back on sugar. I've eaten almost an entire bag of Skittles, not Skittles, Starburst jelly beans. Product placement. Uh, I've been eating them all week. I didn't have to just have them today. Yeah, this is all right. Mmm. I guess for me, though, sodas are more of a caffeine content delivery system. So it's kind of why I avoid the sugar now. It's usually diet Dr. Pepper. Although I have had the Dr. Pepper 10, and it's interesting. So 10 calories, we'll do that. 60 calories, will we do that? Mm, I don't know. I mean, I would probably buy this, but if I'm just going to have diet anyway. But as far as cola goes... I think I would rather have this than Diet Pepsi, but I'd probably rather have a Coke product than any of those. And actually, I prefer the Pepsi Max. Would I rather have Pepsi Max than Pepsi Next? On the one hand, Pepsi Max has less calories and a giant staggering amount of caffeine. Uh, does it say how much caffeine is in this can? 43 milligrams in a can. And I don't have a Pepsi Max in front of me. Actually, I do have one. Hang on. I think it'll say on the label somewhere, just like it did for that one. <sighs> per 12 fluid ounces, 69 milligrams. So that's time and a half, basically. Or three times as much when you're drinking a 24-ounce bottle instead of a 12-ounce can. All this is important. Still, it doesn't really touch coffee when it comes to caffeine content. Is it making me talk faster? So, that's your soda experiment of the day. I will give it a thumbs up. And I would probably buy it before I bought regular Pepsi. But I would probably continue to buy throwback Pepsi as it is still available for some reason. And it seems to be kind of semi-permanent along with the throwback Mountain Dew. I guess that's how they're bottling it here in the Northwest. No one calls this the Northwest anymore. 
Let's get to your comments. Aaron gave me some advice to not ask my insurance company any questions ever because they will raise the rates no matter what I talk about if I ever call them. Wow, that's paranoid. And let's face it, I'm too lazy to call them anyway. I will wait until disaster happens and then I'll take care of it. Interestingly enough, we had a toilet backup last night. It's like, oh, really? Again? But I fixed it. I can unclog toilets. I can't unclog six-inch water mains, but I can, I can unclog a toilet. Hooray for me. A handy, handy man. Yeah, Mike says it's not covered, don't bother. Somebody, but somebody, was it Mike? I don't know. The only reason I thought about it in the first place is somebody mentioned water main insurance. And I, obviously that's an external deal or it's some other company offering it, but it got me just interested enough to think about it and then promptly forget it. The joys of home ownership. I don't know what the bank does. But they let me pretend I own it. I don't see the bank paying for plumbing. All right. Long ass reply from Cerebus. We will tackle it as it comes. Has this week been the most you've ever talked about pooping in a single week in a public forum? Probably. Isn't there something you can buy at Home Depot to pour into your pipes to kill the roots? I don't know. I should go to Menards and check that out. I'm going to ignore that email. I was just kidding about the Metropolis poster. The deal is that they uh, are $850,000. That's why I did not think you were going to be able to locate one. Uh, if you hadn't heard about that, look it up on, on the internet, because I don't remember what site it was. But there's one currently in auction, although it's received no bids, but the asking price right now is $850,000. One of four believed to be left in existence. And it's kind of an interesting story after you look it up. Uh, Super Fuzz. That, that's an excellent movie. Service, if you were gifting it to me, I should probably let you pick it, with the caveat that it has to be appropriate for an office environment, which means no naked flesh and no blood and guts and... Uh, you know, it's got to be something that won't get me fired. But if you send it, I'll put it up for at least a day. And probably longer, because I have nothing better to put there. Will Cerebus send me a poster? What will Cerebus send me? Stay tuned. Really want me to talk about WrestleMania. I don't do predictions, as I've said before. I never do predictions. I like going in, not trying to overthink it, and just let it take place. So, Sorry. I will try to tell you what I thought of it later, if you really care, but like I said, I don't know when I'm going to get into it. There's an added wrinkle where I have to be in here for a meeting on Monday morning, so that may limit my staying up watching WrestleMania time. We shall see. The problem is, I pretty much can't be on Twitter until I see WrestleMania, what with all the spoilers and whatnot, so I do try to see it pretty close to the time it airs. So I don't know. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Maybe we won't want to watch the Timberwolves and we'll want to watch WrestleMania. I doubt it, but it could happen. Cerebus endorses Tilly McCheddar. So do I. If you had a rat problem, what would you use? Regular traps, glue traps, the blue pellets, or something else? <laughs> Snap traps. I love them. They have always worked for me except uh, for the mice in the current house. But in the previous house, even, that was what you did. The only problem is you just kind of, eh, disposing of them is kind of a pain. But I just throw them out if they have a dead carcass on them. Thankfully, no rat problem. And, I, and not really any rats in our neck of the woods, as far as I know. Finally, from Mike, if I, ha uh, uh, if I were to win the ungodly amount of money in the lottery, what would I do? Well, you wouldn't see me for a couple days, probably. First thing I would do is call my accountant and figure out how to claim it, and it probably would involve setting up a foundation and having the foundation get the money because that lowers the tax rate. And you know, even though we're talking about an ungodly sum of money, I still want the government to get as little of it as possible. 
and of course it would be the lump sum. And uh, I can tell you this much, none of y'all would see any of it. So when I win, and I will win by the way, I have the winning ticket, I bought it a couple days ago. I won't tell you what my numbers are, but rest assured, it's happening, it's coming to me. I deserve it after this week. Anyway, that is it. My time is up. Thank you once again for spending another week with me. I love you. I'm CRZ. I didn't even talk about the cookies I made last night, which were excellent, but you can go to Pinterest and find my first pin ever. If you don't know how to find me on Pinterest, go to CRZ.net. There'll be a link there. We'll be back next week with more crap, more soda, and more money.